Let's graph the linear equation y equals 2x minus 2. So we'll do it two ways. First, we'll put in values for x, find the corresponding values for y, and then we'll graph those on our graph here. Next, we'll use the slope-intercept formula y equals mx plus b to check our work. So I like to start out by putting 0 as the first value in for x, so it'll show up on my graph here. 2 times 0 is 0, and then minus 2. So that's our first point. Then let's put 1 in. 2 times 1 is 1, minus 2, that gives us 0. And how about negative 1? 2 times minus 1, that's minus 2, plus minus 2, so we get minus 4. So these are the points that we'll graph for the equation y equals 2x minus 2. So our first point, on the x we have 0, and then on the y we have minus 2, so go down minus 2. Then we have 1 on the x, and then 0 on the y, so we'll leave that right there. Finally, we have minus 1 on the x and minus 4 on the y. So we'll go down to minus 4 here. And you can see our line there. Let me just put a line right through that. Put arrows on the end to show it goes to infinity. And that's the graph for y equals 2x minus 2. Let's use the slope-intercept formula to make sure we have the correct graph here. So b, that's the y-intercept. That's where on the y-axis our line should cross. Cross the y-axis or intercept the y-axis, and b, that's negative 2. So on the y-axis, we find right here, negative 2. So that's our y-intercept and our first point. And then for slope, slope we have 2 up here, but let's think of it as 2 over 1. That's the same as 2. Now we can call it rise over run, though. So we'll go up 2 and over 1, rise over run. Go to the y-intercept, we go up 1, 2, over 1. And we can just keep doing this. Go up 1, 2, over 1, and so on. And all of these points, they're going to be on our line. Likewise, we could go in the opposite direction. We could go down to 1, 2, over 1, and keep doing that. And all of these points, they're on our line. So this is the graph for y equals 2x minus 2. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.